Hi there, this is Leah from Mommyish, and today I get to show off my brand new 3D shadow actions. Now what these do is they take your element or your layer, um, needs to be rasterized first off, and it applies a more 3D realistic shadow effect. Um, meaning whenever you look at objects in real life, typically the shadow is a bit more dynamic. It has more than one um, depth to it, if that makes sense. So. Uh, I created these shadows with that in mind to try to get a more ultra realistic effect digitally. So you can see here there are three shadows each having varying depths. I'm going to zoom in so we can see a bit better. Let me get closer. All right. Um, so here you can see this is the first depth, the second depth, and the third. I've just played around with the opacity of the shadow layers. You'll see that whenever you run the action, there are two shadow layers initially, um, and you can adjust them to your needs. You can change the color of them. You can do whatever you want. You can even move them around after the fact. So it is, it's pretty fun and useful. So um, we have those. And then we have the oomph action, which as you can see, this shows the first, you know, the first action with the oomph the same thing here with the oomph. It adds an, yet an extra layer, like a third um, level of depth. They're really, really fun. So I'm gonna show you how this would work in a layout. So I'm going right here to a template of mine. This is from um, Dolled Up for May. And we have this flower here and, and it looks nice. I mean, the shadow's good. It might be a little hard now that I'm looking at it. Might want, I would typically, if it was just a layer style, I would maybe, uh, increase the size a bit so it was a little poofier but it's not going to matter soon because we're going to have an awesome style instead or not a style but an action all right so I'm going to take this layer and I have loaded all my actions so you'll see right away there are actions in different angles we have 120 we have 45 and we have 90. we also then have the 3d oomph um, actions so and for photoshop cs you're going to have four different sets of actions. Now, unfortunately, it's different in PSC. You have to, for the older versions, I'm not sure about the new, you have to load each action individually. So um, they're going to have uh, several files, 12. <laughs> You'll have 12 files to load, but it's worth it, I promise. All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just choose my flower. I know that the third one is the more poofy one. I'm gonna use the 90 degree angle. So I'm gonna use 3D for the 90 degree and hit play. And it runs through and it does its thing. At the end, you get a little prompt for me saying, you know, don't be afraid to change your blend layers, to change the, the fill or the opacity, the color, have a good time. So we're just gonna stop there. Uh, you can't tell very well right now what it looks like because I, I'm on this transparent background, but if I flood fill in white, you'll be able to see what this looks like. Now at this point, if you wanted to move these layers around because it leaves you, it doesn't merge any of this together. It's left open so you can adjust it to your liking. All right, and that, to me that's really important because shadowing is, or shading, shadowing. <laughs> shading is very personal, I think, and everyone kind of has their own style to it. And so this allows you to really um, make it your own. So like I said, if you wanted to move them around, you could, you can leave them be, you could change the color, then change the blending modes. I like linear burn or multiply or um, linear light, just depending. And uh, anyway, when you have it the way you want it, you will copy all these layers and um, move them over. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use the umph. Now I typically use the umph for the coordinating um, degree. So if I did a 90 degree, I wanna do a 90 degree umph. You can change that if you'd like. There's nothing saying that you can't. So if you say, hey, I want to do a 45 degree or the 120, you know, go for it. Some of them are going to look better than others. But for this sake of our tutorial here, I'm going to go ahead and use the 90 as well. Now, it's going to know what to call to as long as you ha are working within this, what I would consider a dummy document. This is just where we're getting it all in order before we move it over. So here we go. And you can see there it added yet an additional level of depth. It is on your file as shadow-3. So this is without, this is with. Now, I personally like to turn it down quite a bit. To me, it adds just like a little bitty bitty extra something. And uh, I just, I love it. And again, you can always um, move it 
just depending on what you want, like kind of move it over, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to do that this time just to kind of play around with you guys while I'm working on this. I'm going to go ahead and select all these layers and I'm going to go to duplicate layers and I'm going to choose my layout. And kabam, here he is. So I'm going to group them together for the sake of my own sanity. Oops. I keep forgetting that the layer is selected. I better fix that. Um, <laughs> delete. And here I have this group and I'm going to move him into place. And he's like, look how much better I look than the other guy. In fact, maybe I shouldn't have deleted him. Maybe I should move him so you can see er, the difference between the two. <laughs> I'm going to do that instead. So here we are. Uh, this is our original. And this is the new. Original new. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So next up, I'm going to choose this picture perfect moment. Originally, whenever um, Danielle talked to me about wanting 3D type of style, she was talking about how sometimes when you're paper scrapping, you have those thick foam stickers and it makes something look even more up, like, you know, up, up higher. So that was the idea initially that got me started with these actions. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this one. We're going to choose a 90 degree yet again. I'm going to choose um, one. Actually, I'm going to apply my chipboard action to it first because I want it to look like chipboard. So I'm going to choose my chipboard action thin and hit play. All right. And now that I already have this guy, I'm just going to work from this here and choose again 90 degrees. We're going to choose number one. He's number one. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and again, once they're all done, I'm going to duplicate the layers and move it over into my template. So here's our new guy. <gasps> he's so cool. He's like, I'm so much cooler than you. That's no, he's, he would be nice. He'd be like, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so this was the original and this is the new. And again, so I've, yes, I've applied two actions. I did the chipboard action on it, and then I added the 3D action. And again, don't be afraid to um, play with your adjustment layers when, uh, not the adjustment layers, but your blending modes and your opacities. Because if you feel like, oh, that's too dark, or maybe you want to move them to make it look more lifted, um, yeah, don't don't be afraid to do it. Just, just go for it. Why not, you know? <laughs> It's not going to bite you. It's Photoshop. You can always undo it. So there we go. So now we have these two bits that are much more like popping than the rest. And this is how you can use it. I Personally, I like using it on specific elements, um, not on everything per se, but on items that I really want to, to sort of stand out a bit more than, from the rest. So that's it. That's how it works. Now, if you are a designer wanting to use these actions for elements in your kit that's totally fine as long as the um the shadow layers have been merged together um let's say if you were going to put it in a template again uh totally fine as long as the layers um you have them you know together uh so that's it yeah <laughs> and i really hope you guys enjoy this i am going to show you a few more little examples um quickly kind of sped through so you can see it again in action and um i hope you enjoy if you have any questions please leave them below bye bye mm -hmm.